Hello, this is David from Excel Consulting and in this video I'm going to show you how to use if statements that have more than two outcomes and also the brand new for Office 2019 switch and ifs function with an S um, and which context they're useful for. So we're going to cover three scenarios in this video. The first one, we just want to know what the software is of each of these phone brands. So Apple uses iOS, Nokia's use Windows, and all the other ones use Android. So we have three possible outcomes, Windows, iOS, or Android. But uh, we're going to write a, some formulas to do this. So first is with if, this is the classical method, equals if this cell in the same row is equal to um, Apple, comma, then it returns iOS, comma. Otherwise, now we have, instead of value of false, we end up having two possibilities. So I'm going to do another if. This one is equal to Nokia, comma, and it's going to return Windows. And value of false, if neither of those are met, then it's Android. Close brackets once for the second one, that's a red bracket, and a second time for the first if statement. And that shows me the right answer there. Double click to get it down. Apple, iOS, Nokia Windows, all the others are Android. Um, so this, the issue here is it's not such an easy formula to read or such an easy one to write. We need two if statements, and if there was more options, more than two outcomes, sorry, more than three outcomes, we would need even more if with an if with an if and nest them. And it gets really, really messy in that scenario. Um, another method, there's a classic method, is using a VLOOKUP. So if I, if I have here a lookup table that has the brand and the software, I can write a VLOOKUP equals VLOOKUP. Lookup value will be this one, comma, table array. Start with the first column being where the lookup value would be. Press F4 to lock it in. Column index number, this one would be column one, this would be column two. So column number two, range lookup, I'm going to go with zero, which is the same as false, to get an exact match. Later on, we'll see a different scenario. So that's gonna give me Android. As you can see, it's the same data up to there. Then if I extend it the last one, it gives me an NA error. Why? Because LG is not in this table. So VLOOKUP is better in most scenarios than this if, because it's one single formula, it's not nested. But the only inconvenience is that you have to have every single option listed here, otherwise a VLOOKUP could break and give you an NA error like that. So the third scenario is this new switch function. This is new to Excel 2019 or Office 365. Equals switch, and then you have the expression. So for expression, we're just going to click in this cell, which is what you do in most cases. Comma. And then we want to say what the possible option is, what the value is. So if that is equal to Apple, comma, result 1. So value 1, result 1. Result 1 is going to be iOS, comma. Always, when you have text, write it with speech marks before and after the text. Default or value two, here we're going to say Nokia, comma, the result of Nokia will be Windows, again in speech marks. And then keep an eye on the bold character that is always the one that you're editing. So yeah, whenever you do long formulas like this, always keep an eye on what's bold. What square bracket is optional, as with all Excel formulas, but what you'll notice here is that the square brackets are in pairs. So if I enter um, value two, I must enter result two, if I, et cetera, et cetera. However, there is an exception, which is an other clause. So I can press a comma, and then I can actually put an other clause, and the other clause in this case is going to be speech marks, and then the word is going to be Android, like that. Then I can close my bracket, press enter, and I have 
basically the same formula and the same outcomes in all cases, but I've done it with one formula. I haven't done it with um, multiple if statements, and if there were more options, I would still do this in the one formula, because the expression is still d4, and then I just toggle through multiple values and result pairs, and then another clause if I want to as well, which is the final one. So I really like the switch function. I use it a lot. Um, it's much better than the multiple if statements here. Uh, if you can list all of them, then VLOOKUP is probably the cleanest, though. All right, let's go for scenario two. Scenario two is Lena buys iPhones. So here we're going to test whether um, whether there's any errors in our data. So we, we know that Lena in the customer column will always buy an Apple product or an iPhone. If she doesn't, then we probably have an error in our data. So here we're going to test first the brand column and then we're going to test the customer column. So I'm going to write here equals if this one is equal to Apple then check is okay, so uh, correct. Otherwise, we're going to do another if again. And so if it's not equal to Apple, then check this one. If this one's equal to Lina, then we have a problem. Error, say. Otherwise, if this is not Apple and this is not Lina, then we're probably okay. So then I could probably say correct, like that. Close one bracket for the second if and one for the first. So this is um, the classic way to do it, but there's a new function called ifs with an s, which allows you to do this in one formula without nesting. Again, here we have three possible outcomes. Uh, if we had more than three, then an if statement with nesting. Anytime you get an extra outcome, you need to nest another if, so it becomes a bit impractical. So equals ifs. Again, this is new in Office 365 or Office 2019. So here, it's a little bit like the switch, but it's kind of a halfway house between switch and if without the s. You have logical test, and so we start off the same way. This is equal to... Apple, comma, value if true is correct. Otherwise, and now, instead of going into multiple ifs, you just get more pairs of uh, logical test, value if true, logical test, value if true. So we can't use switch in this case because switch relies on the fact that we're always comparing an expression which is the same cell. But in this case, we want to compare this one, or if that fails, compare this one. So that's why we can't use switch here. So click logical test 2, C4 equals uh, Lina. Like that. Comma. Then the value of true is um, error. Otherwise, then we have to do again, this one, this time is not equal to Lina. By the way, this is the symbol for not equal to, uh, comma, then it's going to be uh, correct. So with ifs, you can write it all in one statement, like you can with switch, but you can manage cases whereby you have multiple columns being referenced. So it's a little bit uh, got more functionality than switch. However, I prefer switch because it's shorter to write. And this scenario is actually not very common where you want to compare two different columns. Switch is really the one I use the most. All right, let's do another scenario where switch will not work, which is uh, when you're not using equality. Switch only works when you're using equality, i.e. when you're saying D4 is equal to Apple. Or in this case, we could say price is equal to 400. But if we want to do it into bands, for example, say that price paid is equal to uh, 
or is less than um, 500, then do something. If it's less than 600, do something else. So it won't be dependent on the equal sign. So that's when we would use if ifs with an S or VLOOKUP as well. So I could do here equals if this one is uh, so basically if it's less if it's uh, less than 500 then it should say cheap if it's otherwise if this one is less than 600 no speech marks when you're referring to numbers then it should say mid range or if it's neither of those i.e. if it's bigger than 600 then say and speech marks expensive like that so yeah I need to remember to close both of my brackets the red and then the black one because I am using two formulas in the if statement you can also then do these two, which require only one formula and no nesting. Nesting means when you put one formula inside another, one function inside another. So here if I go ifs, I could do this one is less than 500, comma, cheap. Otherwise, this one less than 600, comma, mid range, otherwise, this one, more than 600, sorry, more than equal to 600, so we get exactly 600 in there as well, comma, expensive. Um, again, there, there is no other clause in ifs with an s, which is a bit annoying actually, I wish there would have been one. So another reason why I prefer switch, but switch is not possible here because we're doing a less than and greater than comparisons, so it's not equality. But that works fine there. Same results as we expect. Final version is with a VLOOKUP, that is an approximate match. So for this, we need a lookup table, and we say the minimum price here is cheap, minimum price there is mid-range, 600 is expensive. And I can say equals v lookup this one comma here f4 make sure that this the column with the price is before the price band otherwise it won't work with a v lookup comma column number two column one column two comma then instead of zero or false we'll write one or true to say it's an approximate lookup. So it might not find the exact one, but if it finds somewhere in the range, it will give you that result. There we go. That gives us the same results. Um, the VLOOKUP is probably best in this table for this scenario. However, you have to be a bit careful because if this is, if this would be 390, it would give you an error because 390 is not in this range. So you need to put your minimum and this is how you set up your VLOOKUP approximate match table. The minimum price has to be here, not the highest, the minimum. Um, you could have other columns as well and use something else. I have a longer video explaining VLOOKUP and another one explaining IF. But here I wanted to show you the comparison between IF VLOOKUP, SWITCH and IFS. Again, I would use SWITCH wherever possible. Um, it has an other clause, which is really nice, plus it allows you to repeat less things. You don't have to say, this one is equal to Android, this one is equal to Apple. You can just say this one, and then what the value is, the result, value, result, value, result, as you go along. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.